Good morning. I'm Terry. Welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm at the range, so if you hear gunfire, bear with me. And if you hear a noise in the background that sounds like a generator, it is. It's uh, providing air conditioning and electricity to the uh, range master shack. So today I'm going to be testing what special thinning barrel length has on handgun accuracy. More specifically, black powder firearms. More specifically, the Colt open top revolver like this 1860 Army. Now, when I talk about accuracy, that might seem obvious at first. Um, longer barrel has better uh, combustion of the propellant, increases chamber pressure, improves muzzle velocity, increases spin of the projectile, increases gyroscopic stability, and thus increases accuracy. But that's the accuracy of the gun itself. What I'm talking about is how does barrel length affect the shooter's, in this case my, ability to accurately shoot that gun? And we'll take into account the, the inherent change in accuracy of the barrel length on the gun itself. So before I get started, I want to uh, clarify a specific point. Man, it is 8 o'clock in the morning and pushing 90 degrees already. And the sun is in my eyes. So if I'm a crappy shooter today, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. The sun is in my eyes. The difference between accuracy and precision, um, which we often use interchangeably, I'm even guilty of that myself, but they aren't exactly the same thing. Accuracy is where on the target your grouping is, and precision is how small that grouping is on the target. You could also call precision uh, consistency. So a grouping that's really tight, but high into one side, is precise or consistent, although it's not very accurate. So I'm gonna test three different barrel lengths, uh, all essentially the same barrel, in that they're all made by the same company in the same factory. They're all the same caliber, 44. Um, they all have the same rifling, the, uh, the same twist, the same number of grooves, the same number of turns per unit of measure. They all have the same forcing cone. And in fact, they really are just variations of the 1860 Army. So they're all actually interchangeable. So I'm gonna start out with eight inch barrel. I'm gonna fire six rounds at a target 25 yards away. I'm then going to switch to the five inch barrel, all made, by, all made by Pieta. And then I'm gonna try the three inch little, three inch snub nose. And we'll see what effect uh, these have on accuracy. So, by now, I'm sure you've noticed that the uh, video of the target didn't turn out quite as planned. The humidity fogging the lens up and then with the sun shining in the lens just made the uh, footage completely unusable. So, on with the show with what we've got. Okay, so I've reloaded now. I've changed barrels to the five inch barrel. And if I haven't mentioned it before, I'm using the same load on all three barrels. And that is a 137 grain, 0.451 round lead ball, no wadding, uh, my own lube, on top of 30 grains of triple F, triple seven, and fired by a Remington Magnum number 11 cap. So let's try six rounds.
Okay, so I've reloaded with the three inch barrel now. Same target, same load. Let's see what we get. Yeah. Okay, so I'm back home in the shade. Some other people started showing up wanting to use the handgun target range, but uh, they didn't want me videotaping them. So I just gave them the bench and let them have some fun, and I came home. I was pretty well finished anyway. So what can we take away from this test? Well, as you can see, I got three rounds with the 8-inch barrel. Very nice grouping. Pretty good. Um, Vertically, also, I just need to pull them over horizontally, and then one low, and presumably the other two are out here somewhere. So it's firing a little low and off to the side. But when I went to the 5-inch barrel, I really didn't see much of a change. I've got two rounds right here, which you can barely see, and one round here. So a little high, but the actual spread of the grouping itself isn't that much different. You got the spread here and then the spread here. Really not that much difference between the 8 inch and the 5 inch. The significant and surprising thing is when I went to the 3 inch barrel, no hits whatsoever. Completely missed the target. It was shooting consistently low though because I could see it kicking up dirt underneath the target, underneath the stand. That little 3 inch barrel with that lower muzzle velocity of black powder to start with and the heavier projectile, it just did not have the velocity to hit a target 75 feet out. Now I'm sure I could have compensated by lobbing it in, and I actually wanted to stay and do a few more rounds to see you know, if I could. But again, those other people showed up, and it's getting really horrendously hot and humid out there today. So the takeaway from all this. Barrel length does indeed. Well, hello. Here he comes. <laughs> so, the takeaway from all this well, as far as black powder revolvers go, probably more so than conventional firearms, which have a inherently higher muzzle velocity and therefore more gyroscopic stability. Black powder firearms are indeed affected by uh, barrel length. Both um, the gun itself is affected by barrel length as well as the shooter's ability to fire that gun accurately. Exactly how much of an effect barrel length has on each of those, the gun's accuracy versus the shooter's accuracy, kind of remains to be seen. And another question really is, how does barrel length affect the shooter's ability? Well, it has to do with the distance between the, uh, the sights. The greater the distance between the sights, the easier it is to make minor adjustments in it and keep that barrel lined up with the target. Whereas the shorter the distance between them, the harder it is because now what appears to be minor changes can really move the impact Point of that bullet, which is why long guns, rifles are in inherently more accurate than handguns as a general rule. So, as always, go to the target range and try this out yourself. It's therapeutic, it's fun. Have, go out and have some fun. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. And the sun really was in my eyes. Just saying. He really was. Son. <laughs>